Hey. Alright, so we got a uh, PS4 with a bad HDMI port. These are the new ones that just came in from the UK. They are upgraded. And I will show you, once I'm done repairing, what the differences are between the two. But uh, essentially, the one that Sony uses is shite. And uh, these things are actually an improvement on the original concept. Um, I can show you right now. First of all, the actual pins, you can see that, are recessed into the plastic and they're capped so that they can't fold out of the plastic channels, which they're actually built into. And secondly, if you look at the back here, it has the back on it. So if somebody jams the HDMI port or a cable into the port, it's not going to break the pins out the back. Pretty cool, eh? All right, so we've got our new HDMI port. Put that back in the case for a minute. Now, these things are brutal. Just brutal to take apart. And you have to have silver. Uh, quick silver. Let's go. If you're going to do this, because you have to break the bond between the heat sink and the CPU if you're going to take apart the PlayStation. <sighs> I get it on eBay. It doesn't cost very much. I order like a few tubes at a time for usually like 10 bucks. Right, so first things first, let's get... Uh, I think I need this one. Now these are security bits. They've got the little focus. They've got the little holes in the tip. Otherwise, you can't get into these bad boys. Help with this new camcorder. You guys uh, don't hear my servers as much. <coughs> They're kind of loud. Oh, sorry, I forgot one screw. Okay, so there's the top cover exposed. drive. Good practice. I think I can... Nah, actually you can't leave it in. That's right. Uh, I'm going to move it down here. Uh, I don't even know what size it is. It doesn't say anywhere what size it is. It's not even hitting the serial number. Oh, I think it's 500. Okay, we're going to put this aside. I'm not going to take these screws out until after I take the bottom off. Okay, so this is what fastens the heatsink to the RSX chip or the GPU or whatever the hell it is. I mean, it's an APU, I guess. 
But I mean, like, what's interesting is that, uh, it's only a 32-bit processor as far as I know. And in the PlayStation 4, it's got a whole lot of unlocked cores in it, as opposed to the Xbox One, which has far less uh, cores unlocked. Other than that, it's just an ATI video card. Um, I think it's HD 7400 or something like that? I can't remember. Oh, power supply out. Okay, now we need to disconnect the Blu-ray. It is now disconnected. Okay, we need to disconnect the Wi-Fi. There we go, it's now disconnected. Alright, and I think... Does that freeze it? should just pop out now. Alright, so here we go. Well, something to be mindful of is these little guys. Don't touch them. Wherever they're stuck, leave them stuck there. Just make sure you count them, and when you put it back together, they're in the same places where you found them. Otherwise, you will have a customer call you back saying that their PlayStation 4 is overheating. Alright, so we've got the motherboard out. Here's the shitty HDMI port, which I am about to remove. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get some wet. There we go, that'll work. Yeah, I, I'm a recycled wicker. I use uh, bits of cable with a little bit of flux on them. Works good. Ah, I always get my southern iron cables tangled up. Alright, there we go. Two. Bless me. Oh, let me adjust my camera. There we go. Just gonna add a tiny bit of solder here. Because they use high temp solder, it's usually silver solder on these boards because it's ROHS compliant, blah blah blah, whatever the hell that means. Alright, so. Okay, now we're ready to uh, get the socket all cleaned up. And we are ready to fasten it. We're going to insert this little bad boy into the VS, making sure that all the pads line up with the pins. Once we have that confirmed, we will solder. All these little bad boys into place. First things first, I need a little bit of flux. I'm 
we go. I need a little bit of solder. This is probably the wrong tip for the job. I could be using a smaller tip, which would be much, much more precise. But I don't want to turn my solder iron off. I haven't got them yet, but I plan on getting jeweler's glasses. Those little glasses with the um, hoop magnifiers on them. Make my life so much easier. One of my best buddies, uh, Dan Hipson, um, he does the same thing I do, except he does it in a much... Well, he's way more advanced than I am. And uh, he uses a stereo microscope and has some great success with that. So, um... Taking his advice, I really should be switching up to a stereo microscope, but I just haven't done that yet. Uh, money is an issue. So, this is kind of like, I am the guerrilla warfare version of uh, an electronics technician. Alright, so we're just going to re-solder these feet. I'm going to put a little bit of flux in the back here so that it adheres a little bit better. Never have too much flux, unless you've got too much flux. Thank you. Soak down into the VF. Okay, let's see how this is doing on the other side. So Via hasn't sucked up the solder yet, so that's one of the problems with these boards. I don't know how many layers there are inside of them, but The signal solder is always close to the hottest point. Up down here. Like I said, it's easier if we actually do this bit with just two of us instead of three of us. 
in order to get through group three and three, the drag training and the drag training and the team babies and the season one, you're not including the watch line. It's easy to just do it. The good thing is to do it. Now we're going to get this quick thing up. Alright, so I'm going to run a piece of paper over there. Alright. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, that looks great. So now we've got this, uh, where is it? The socket's in here, the new upgraded socket, it's the new version. Um, so the old version, as you can see, the pins on the back are exposed, so if you push something in the wrong way, it'll actually pop the pin right at the back. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but the pins aren't capped at the ends. They're just resting in little channels. So it's easy for them to get peeled away from the board, whereas these guys, the new sockets, don't have that issue. So these are shit. All right, so this is all cleaned up. Now, as I said before, um, you have to redo the heat sink glue. So let me just grab some TP here. I shouldn't say glue, it's just thermal compound. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So, let's see here, where did I put my thermal compound? There it is. There we go. The well, secret to getting this shit off your fingers and clothes is rubbing alcohol. Alright, so now the new socket's in place. Let's reassemble this bad boy. I'm only going to do a partial reassembly just to test to proof it. And once it's proofed, we can uh, properly put it back together. Now again, I'm checking the thermal transfer pads to make sure that they're all in place where they should be. Okay, so the critical components here would be this. This is for tensioning the heat sink to the APU. So we're just going to fasten this one first. You want to go a little bit on either side. There we go. 
Okay, so that's good. Now, we're gonna put the hard drive back in. Mm, hard drive's over here. There we go. <coughs> I'm going to put in a couple of screws here just to uh, ensure that I can flip it over without causing any problems. You don't want to put all the screws in until you're 100% sure that everything's fixed. Just in case you have to redo something. Although in this case, if you uh, fuck up and you short out a couple of pins, you're pretty much guaranteed that you need to replace the HDMI processor. There we go. The Blu-ray drive back in. Okay, Bluetooth, <coughs> and now the power supply. I can't really, like, I don't have to kill myself with the new app, but I just can't get it in the end. I should be able to shield here. So now I'm going to hook this up to my monitor here. Now the problem that we were having that we're trying to fix right now is that the uh, audio and video is all wonky on here. Mainly the uh, video went blurry and you lost audio. Fire her up. Once we kill these guys, they won't show up again. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're supposed to be brothers in the war, but I don't want that. I'll just send you if you're interested in I'll just send it to you because uh, Dark Souls doesn't really like the tall story or anything like that. You gotta like read the other descriptions for me again. All right, here we go. We're turning on the PlayStation 4. Woo! It works. There you go.